Welcome everybody. We are live here in Hazard, Kentucky at the DJ Begley Classic as we continue the D&D Sports Network Battle of the Regions 14th versus 15th Region Challenge tonight. Not Central versus Pike Central here on the D&D Sports Network with Kevin Keithley and Daryl McCoy. Daryl, this is going to be a good one. The double main event, 14th region versus 15th region. Oh, yeah, and we get your starting lineups right out of the gate. So, yeah, take but a look, Daryl McCoy. This is Pike Central starting lineup, Coach. They will start at point guard, uh, senior, Jalen Rigdon, wearing number zero. Wearing number 21 will be Jaden Stewart. He's a 2025 small forward, power forward. Wearing number 23 will be Peyton Owens, 2025 center for the Hawks. 2026. Is he 26? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then uh, you got Jake Sloan, who is a 2024 small forward. Well, uh, he's a shooting guard. And then Blake Adams, wearing number four, shooting guard. Uh, head coach by Eric Ratliff. And as we say here, we'll have not central starting lineup in a minute. We didn't get theirs uh, done, the, uh, but uh, we will have them as soon as they come out here. And I got to think you will see uh, Drake Sloan, number one, Hunter Haddix, number three, Jalen Huff, four, Braxton Reed, five, and probably either Chance Amberge, number 11, or Gavin Mosley, number 10, Coach. You better believe you're going to see Mr. Jalen Huff and Mr. Drake Sloan in that backcourt, right, Daryl? Yes, absolutely. This is going to be um, – well, again, we're going to kind of get a see, see here uh, where Pipe Central's at to begin the year. We had an opportunity to watch them at the zip zone. Um, didn't have that normal energy they normally have, but, again, it is preseason. And uh, I heard a couple of guys was under the weather. And then we got a chance to see Knott County against a really good Pipeful team. And Knott County really from start to finish um, uh, took care of business, Daryl McCoy. So Knott County's for real, ladies and gentlemen. If you're in the 14th region, they're every bit a preseason contender, uh, season contender for that 14th region uh, title. Now, as we're getting ready to get started here real quick, want to thank Sayersville Funeral Home, Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance. Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau, East Main Street Pharmacy, Thomas Kemper and Kemper Furniture, Zip Zone of Warfield, Kentucky, Mexican Restaurant in Inez, Kentucky, Howard Family Pharmacy, Double Quick, Conley Brothers Giovanni's, Crace Construction, Solid Rock Development, Crumb Funeral Home, Smoking Hot Vape Shop, Citizens Bank of Kentucky, Made to Crave, Castles Jewelry, Huff Pharmacy, and Tropical Owl. They now have loaded tees and offices in Prestonsburg and Sayersville. The DJ Begley sponsors are Mayor Happy Mobilini, Tim Short, Chevrolet, Perry County Judge, Scott Alexander. Kevin Keithley, as we are uh, less than a minute away, and again, this is the game we've been waiting for. Well, listen, it's it's... One of the two top teams in the D&D Sports preseason rankings and, and Knott County Central coming in at number three on the year. I think they're proved that they're every bit number three, Daryl, after yeah. the performance against Pikeville. Then Pike County Central, this will be our first regular season look at them. I believe it's their first game of the year. Of course, we watched them down at the Zip Zone Classic and, and um, uh, didn't have the greatest of performance, but I guarantee you one thing, they're going to be ready to go. Hmm. Mm. They're going to be ready to go uh, with open and night here, no doubt about it. Um, here at the DJ Begley Classic. Wow. Look here. Whoa. 606 Hemp and Zip Zone of Warfield delivering it a is. cold Pepsi to me. Can't get any better well, than that. He delivers well, you a Pepsi. Meal, Frank, yeah. I don't get one. <laughs> Why don't I get one? Right. I don't know. I don't know. The. I'm just uh, not yeah, I, I don't know, Coach. They, they left you out. I know. I'm not privileged enough here. They, uh, but I uh, want to thank the fine sponsor for hooking us up there with some thirst quenchers. This game features the Pike County Central Hawks. As they take on the Knott County Central Patriots. 
So, Park Central will be your starter. Jalen Rigdon. Number 21, Jaden Stewart. And guard, number one, Jake Sloan. And guard, number four, Blake Adams. Rounding out the starting lineup will be at forward, number 23, Peyton Owens. They are head coach by Eric Ratliff. Assisted by, oh yeah, uh, former Betsy Lane Bobcat, Derek Newsom. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I forgot about that, yes. They had a battle at the Expo. So Knock County starting lineup. Drake Sloan. And another guard, number three, Hunter Haddix. Hunter Haddix. At guard number four, Jaden. At guard number four, Jaden Huff. At forward, number, at forward five, number five, Braxton Reed. And round out start lineup at forward. Number 10, 11, Chance Amberge. They are head coach by Casey Huff. And you see Coach Huff the one talking to his troops. All right, As here we go. They're coming out. That looks like they're shooting a highlight video, Coach. Yep, they are indeed. Uh, I, I like the marketing aspect of Coach Huff's uh, yeah. Philosophy. Normally, you wouldn't see that. Not here. Yeah. Not, not in no. Eastern Kentucky. No, I, I mean, I'm talking uh, coach come out beforehand. Oh, and yeah, yeah. That's why people wondering. Here we go. Rigged into jump. That's that increased vertical Bobby Love style. I tell you, that, that surprises me. I figure Peyton Owens definitely be jumping yeah. things off. It's going to be not central controlling the tip. Here we go. Oh, we'll get it. Drake Sloan. Pike Central going to man here. Well, no. Sir. Now, Drake Sloan, coach, he is just a heavy point guard. Uh, he's, he's your prototype for what people would call a floor general. Yes, sir. Here you go, Hunter Haddix. Steps Had over. Haddix had himself a night against Pikeville. He did. He's the uh, he's the token veteran on his team. He's the senior, and uh, or uh, Jaden Huff too. But Hunter Haddix, he kind of leads. He's the captain of this team. It feels like, you know, Drake Sloan's the star, and you know he's their leader. But you know, Hunter Haddix is kind of the calming force. Really good defender. Blake Adams goes baseline, swings it back out. To Jake Sloan. Jake Sloan hard to the rack. Gets blocked by Huff. Yeah, nowhere or no to go with it. Reed with a block. Nowhere to go. Huff uh, bringing the ball to the floor. Swing it over, Sloan to Haddix. Jaden Huff gets, swings it to the other side of the floor to Amberg. Drake Sloan. Pull up. Off the mark. Owens with the rebound. There goes Rigdon. This is where he's at his best. Over to Blake Adams. Swing it to the corner. The senior, right? Yep, absolutely. Back out to Jake Sloan to transfer from Prestonsburg. Let's see here. Jaden Stewart gets the foul. Offensive foul, Daryl McCoy. Going the other way. <laughs> Coach Todd Howard in the house here. Drake Sloan bringing the ball across the timeline, swings it to Hunter Haddix. Haddix, he'll hand it off to Huff. Huff, top of the key, thought about it. He gets it back. He's got Jaden Stewart. You know, Huff's a, Huff is a tough matchup because he's really uh, what most people consider a power forward in the mountains uh, with guard skills. Yes, sir. You know, and credit, I think a lot of that come from his time with Matthew Taylor. Nice job by Pike Central defensively. Mm -hmm. That's when you can get, oh. Oh, took a hard bump and he's still down. Hopefully he's okay here. That's when you can get a downhill drive. Mm -hmm. uh, Pike Central overplaying. Knott County can attack downhill when that happens. I think that's Amberg maybe on the ground. 
Or no. You can tell that's tough. Or no. Who is that? That looks uh it's either and Sam I think Berge. it's Chance Sambergy, right? It might be. He's the only one ain't out there. Yeah, Chance Sambergy down here. But you know, uh we was talking about his ability, coach, um, Huff's ability to you know, he's a power forward body with guard skills. Well, if you look, Coach Matthew Taylor, he has a history. You know, go look at Peyton Dixon this year. You know, leads the state in rebounding. He's what most people consider a power forward. But, you know, Coach Taylor, you know, bringing him out, he realizes next level he's going to be a guard. So, you know, I, I really think his time in Letcher County helped him as a player too. So, right. Knott County very blessed to have Huff back. Another. Uh, Right there's another Huff they're blessed to have back, Casey Huff. Casey Huff uh, talking to his troops. Jake Sloan to inbound. Again, Jalen Rigdon, the senior, has played all four years at Pike Central, transferred in from uh, Adam. He's out of a Mason County. They swing it over. Nice back door, but got deflected. On Here comes go. the Patriots. Nice pull up. Haddix misses the shot. Battling down low, that was Reed, couldn't come up with it. Rigdon, there we go. Yeah. Jaden Huff, five, slam a jamma. <laughs> you know, he had a nice baseline dunk in that Pikeful game as well. Turnovers early on Pike Central, they have three to start the game. Ball swinging around up top. Rigdon. Let's see. Let's see. I'm interested in seeing. I didn't think they'd have Drake Sloan on him. I figured Hunter Haddix would get the assignment, but they got Drake Sloan guarding him. Pike Central's fourth turnover early on. Kicks it out. Huff straight away three. Off the mark. Rigdon gets the rebound. Rigdon. This is again where he's good. Pull Double up jumper. Got it. Banks are open. <laughs> Citizen Bank bank shot. Don't think it was uh, intentional bank, but sure enough. <laughs> It counts, right? Yes, it does. Still two points. You see the score on the double quick scoreboard, top right hand corner of your screen. Get it on the double, it double quick. Gets it down to Huff. Huff kicks it back out. Three pointer. Money. Good by number 24, Connor Napier. There you go, the 2026 standout. Yep. Getting early minutes. He led Car Creek to a county championship. Stewart. Jaden Stewart, yeah. Owens, Maybe. Sloan. They can get Jake Sloan going. It would go a long ways in the helping this Hawks team get this win. They have another offensive weapon on the floor besides Stewart and Rigdon, and I tell you, uh, you know, don't forget, if anybody knows Jake Sloan, it's Coach Casey Huff for not Central because, you know, he spent a year coaching him right. at Prestonsburg. Right. And coming back the other way, Peyton Owens. There's nice Stewart. Look. Yes, great look. Not the best pass, but it still got through, Coach. Stewart's first two. Mm -hmm. Five to four early, not County Central. Here comes that screen. Yeah, screen out top. Napier swings to the corner, back out. Haddix over to Sloan. Ball's on the far side now to Napier. Nice job staying patient. Nice job, quick cut to the basket. Connor Napier filled it. Braxton Reed comes down with it, being very active on the glass right now. And that's what I like about Braxton Reed. You know, he's got all this star power around him, and he says, I want my time to shine too. Yeah, senior Blake Adams for Pike Central battling underneath to cause a jump ball. Five to four here. Ball swinging. Here comes that screen. Had Peyton Owens. Yeah, Peyton Owens, if he would have dumped it down for a wide open layup. Coach Renee Rigdon White watching from South Carolina. She's a big supporter of ours oh, and Jalen Rigdon. For what now? We've, we've yeah. Mr. Miss Rigdon for four years now. Tuning in from South Carolina, Blake Adams. How about Brett's Kilburn on? He's cheering on Prestonsburg on this stream. Appreciate you, Brett. Kicks nice. it across court. Napier. 
off the mark. Adams will get the rebound. Rigdon kicks it up court. Stewart. Ooh, Stewart's got to take that in, coach. Yeah, he had a layup yeah. and pulled up. Yeah, he. I mean, and, and you're not going to stop him at the rim right. either. I'm, I'm surprised he pulled that one up. Five early turnovers for Pike Central. Here comes Drake Sloan. He'll cross the timeline. It's out to Haddix. Rigdon draws the assignment of Garden Haddix. That's what happens. You can't take gambles with Jaden Huff. No, he'll finish nine times out of ten. Yeah, you better stay in front of him. Sloan probing. Stewart wide open. Off the mark. Drake Sloan bringing the Patriots back the other way. Nice job. Pull it back out. There's Peyton Davis in the house. Probing, Daryl. Yeah. Found him a spot. Sloan with the rebound. Jake Sloan gets it to Jaden Stewart. Stewart leaves it on there. Yeah, leaves it short. Yep. Yeah. Five to four. Both teams kind of filling each other out. Jaden Huff. Pull up. Uh, Rigdon with his second rebound. Yeah, Rigdon kicks up court. Nice no look past the Owens. Falling out of bounds. Had nowhere to go with it. So six turnover, Darrell. Uh, Pike Central struggled against turnovers with Ashland, they too. Did. Yes, they did. That's something that they've got to clean up. And uh, you, you just know, looking at Pike Central, you know that the talent is there, this team is there. It's just when is it going to click? Grant Hall and Caden Crum getting ready to check in for Pipe Central. Yeah, Caden Crum, uh, known for his defense. Well, both of them coming yeah. in. Good defenders. And uh, Grant Hall, good ball handler, too. Maybe cut down on them turnovers. Yep, 2027 out of Mullins. Big minutes by two young players. That, that big time opportunity. Caden Crum, big time baseball player for the Hawks. Yes, sir. Drake Sloan. He's going to go on six. Nice floater. Do it. Pike Central is going to have three seconds here. Rigged in half court shot. Off the mark. And we will have a one point ball game after one. It is not Central five, Pike Central four. We'll be right back. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount St. Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. The Black Friday sale is on now at Kimber's. Kimber is letting you choose how you want to save, and the offers are incredible. On top of great sale prices storewide, take an extra 10% off the lowest marked sale price on everything you buy, and Kimber will pay your sales tax too. Or get up to 72 months, six full years interest-free. Look for amazing doorbuster deals throughout the store during the Black Friday sale at your favorite Kimber store. Back here in Hazard, Kentucky at the DJ Begley Classic. As we are here in Hazard, Kentucky, the, uh, with uh, they will not County, I think, is coming back out with all their starters in. What's the scoring update, Prestonsburg and Buckhorn, Darrell? Uh, 56 to 47, Prestonsburg leads Buckhorn with three minutes to go. They swing it over to the far wing. Haddix. Up top, Jalen Huff kind of quiet here, Daryl, but it won't last long. No, no, there he goes. He says, quiet, what are you yes, talking sir. about? He might have got hit going to the rim before the, the two free throws are coming up. Guys, do us a favor. Hit that like and share button. Get these numbers up for these boys. They're going to go home and rewatch this. They want to see where you're watching from, who you're cheering on in the comment section below, and they want to see the numbers up. Make sure you hit that share button. Huff can't convert. 
You got questions or comments for me or Coach? Leave them in the comment section. D and D Sports Network is an interactive broadcast. Misses we, both there. Yep. We try to make you guys part of the show. Low scoring affair. Yep. Five to four here. Grant Hall, number two in the game. Uh, number five, Caden Crumb, in the game for another yeah. turnover there. Yeah, another turnover. Pike Central just plagued with turnovers so far. Pete Nolan slips. There's yeah. Huff. All the way, being aggressive with it. And that's what a good scorer needs to be. If yeah. you're not finding your shot, be aggressive, right, Darrell? Yeah, absolutely. Get to the rack. Yeah, say it all the time. 7-4, to four, Grant Hall up top, with, uh, excuse me, at the wing with the ball. Over to Peyton Owens. There's Owens, kicks to the corner. Stewart back out. Good ball movement. Rigdon. Couldn't get there to shot. Rushed that off and running. Yeah. Lost the ball going up yeah. there. Yeah, he lost control of it. Pike Central coming back the other way. And Pike Central, Coach, they need a basket. They've been held scoreless here the last couple minutes, few minutes. Uh, Riggin over to Crum. Stewart back out. Owens. Owens not even looking to score. He, as soon as he catches, he's looking to pass. Yeah. And and he's, he can't be that right. guy. You yeah, know. he's got to look, Darrell. He, yeah. he can get to the rack. Yeah, and he can score around the rack. Yes. You know? There's Jaden oh. Stewart. Yeah, he got away with a walk. He got away with one. Coach, and, and last year they had a player that the, uh, he was the same way. He was the, the big guy, that, and he would not look for his shot. And, yeah. and it really it makes him play five right. on four on the offensive end. That's a good point. Yeah, I can't remember his name. But you're right. Uh, and, and the same thing going on here with uh, Owens. Owens is a guy that can finish around the rim, athletic and long. Yeah, somebody let us know his name. But, you know, I, I mean, I understand, you know, if you're, if you're not comfortable or if you're limited offensively. But, you know, you've got to at least, I don't care whether you make it or not, you know, make right. them respect it. That's right. There's Crum. Crum, yeah. Swings over to Rigdon. Nice job by Knott in their zone. There you go. That's what we we're talking yeah, about. There you go. That's what he's got to do, Coach. And, you know, he has the ability to score. You know, he's got a high motor. He's super athletic. He's long. Coming out. Huff swings out to Haddix. You know, Peyton Owens grew up in the Belfry area. Transferred to Pike Central, I think his sixth grade year. Yes, sir. Nice look. Mm -hmm. Owens back to Stewart. Hall can knock it down. He's off the mark. Hall uh, has moved into kind of, along with Crum, that six man role. Yeah. Crumb's nickname is Cabo. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I should have known that, right? You should have. You, you are a Mullins uh, aficionado. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. Huff swings it over. So, who we got in for not central now, number 32. Oh, strong move. Huff sticking with it. Uh, uh, Jaden uh, Hall. Jaden Hall in the game now for the Patriots. But he's coming right back out. Casey Huff begging for the foul. You know, Coach Huff, his wife is the female coach at Knox yeah. Central. And the girls basketball coach. He's got a team that can compete for region. Wouldn't that be crazy if a, a husband yes, and wife sir. was at Rupp Arena? How often does that happen or has uh, it uh, ever happened? I, I wonder. I, some, yeah. Somebody look that up. Find that out for us. Has a husband and wife ever coached at Rupp Arena? Jameer Knuckles, number 44 yep, to his that, brother. That's what he does. Yes, sir. He is the QB1 for Pike Central, Coach, and he has impeccable floor vision. Knuckles. Yep. And I always thought that was a nickname for the longest time, <laughs> and it wasn't. Uh, but I'm telling you what, he, you're right. All That's of a sudden, sudden yeah. things change. Put back. Good. Stewart now has six. 
10 to 7, Pike Central, Daryl. They're running to call a timeout. We'll take one, too. Come right back and join us here from the DJ Bigley Classic. Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance East Kentucky Chiropractic wants to remind you about their sports injury recovery clinic. Dr. Dale Williams has been providing treatment for sports injuries of all kinds for over 20 years, offering individualized treatments utilizing x-ray and therapies like cold laser, e-stem, and manipulation. East Kentucky Chiropractic can get you off the sidelines and back into the game. Schedule an appointment today with Dr. Williams or Dr. Fields. Call 606-487. 9505. We accept most insurances, Medicare and Medicaid. We are back here, Coach Keasley. You're watching the Battle of the Regions, DD Sports Network, 14th versus 15th Region Challenge, Coach. And right now, the 14th Region is up four games to one thanks to Hazard's win, girls' win over Belfry. We'll give you an updated rankings after the day. And I, I would have never dreamed the 14th region would be a head coach after five games. They've, let, they've let a couple slip the 15th. Yep. Um, they have. That's just the way it is. And I, I got no dog in the fight. Yep. No, no, we're rooting for both right. of them. And, uh, and you know, we talked to Aiden Barnett the other day, and he's uh, he's got that on his mind. He said, he said we're going to even it up with the 14th. Can you believe with three minutes to play here in the second quarter, it's a 10 to seven game? No, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I thought for sure the over or under would be about 65. <laughs> Haddock's Daryl McCoy. Yeah. Rigdon, he's the UPOC commit, bringing the ball up the floor. Got uh, Jameer Knuckles and Jake Sloan in the game for Pike Central. Jameer Knuckles kind of started that little rally by Pike Central. He did, and uh, you know, I, I think Jaden Stewart, you know, his little brother comes in, and he plays hard. Yeah. You know, he's, he's like, okay, let's do this. Yeah. Jameer made that little pass to Stewart, got Stewart going. It's 10, 10 here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yvonne T uh, Rigdon Tanner watching from Florida. Make sure you hit that like and share button down in the Sunshine State. We appreciate everybody tuning in. You can find this on YouTube, dndsports.com, and on Facebook. If you do watch it on YouTube. Make sure you keep your phone handy so you can interact with us in the comment section. They'll swing it over to Sloan. Sloan backs it back out. Yeah, they're very patient, Daryl. Pulling. Pull ya! Hunter Haddix. Coach back to back threes. And puts an now all of a sudden it's a, what is it, a 8 0 run by Not yeah. Central, right? Yeah, they're at 13 10 right now. Found Stewart down. on the backside. Yeah. Blake Adams pulling. Left Stewart. How do you do that, Daryl? Look. How do you leave Stewart wide nah. open? Uh, you gotta not put, put a body. body. Yeah. Got to box him out. Thirteen it, to ten. And I tell you, Knuckles. I like. I like the way he's getting up and down the floor right now. Looks like he's in good shape right now. You know, and he's. Uh, you know, I, I figured it would take him a minute to come back from. Football, you know, because you know, football shape's a lot different than basketball shape. It is. They posting on uh, Mr. Uh, Knuckles. Yeah. And I tell you, oh, 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 oh. yeah, almost <laughs> got it. I think he dragged it. Uh, and one thing about Knuckles is he's the ultimate competitor. He wants to win, right? Yes, he does. He's a win at all cost guy. Knuckles Call will be on Knuckles. They'll bring Peyton Owens back in for Jameer Knuckles. Scotty Dingus watching from South Williamson. Misty Everett says, way to go, Hunter. Gets it back out to Haddix. Haddix leaves it for Huff. 13 to 10 here. This, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to head into halftime. It has been a def defensive uh, uh, game, if, if you love defense, like Daryl McCoy, this is your basketball. Now you got Drake Sloan picked up by Adams out top. Under a minute to go. Coach, 23 minutes, there are 23 points scored in two quarters of play. Isn't that crazy? Yes. Uh, as, as elite as both teams are? And I did not see that. Better watch out, Owens will take that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Drake Sloan escapes. Yeah. yeah. 
Nice job getting free, but couldn't come down with it. They're going to get the rebound. Nice look. Go up, young man. Yeah, Reed with the bucket. Now they're going to have 18 seconds here. Pike Central, could, you know, they still could steal some momentum right here if they could score here, Coach. Cross court. Nice look, Stewart. Yep. Stepped on it along yep. with it, Darrell. Their ninth turnover, or tenth, actually. Pike Central just turnover plagued here today. And it's going to be off. At the half, we will go into the locker room, believe it or not. Not Central leads 15 to 10. You're watching the d, &D Sports Network Battle of the Regions here at the DJ Begley Classic. We'll be right back with the Double Quick Halftime Show. The Black Friday sale is on now at Kimber's. Kimber is letting you choose how you want to save, and the offers are incredible. On top of great sale prices store-wide, take an extra 10% off the lowest marked sale price on everything you buy, and Kimber will pay your sales tax too. Or get up to 72 months, six full years interest-free. Look for amazing doorbuster deals throughout the store during the Black Friday sale at your favorite Kimber store. Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance East Kentucky Chiropractic wants to remind you about their Sports Injury Recovery Clinic. Dr. Dale Williams has been providing treatment for sports injuries of all kinds for over 20 years, offering individualized treatments utilizing x-ray and therapies like cold laser, e-stem, and manipulation. East Kentucky Chiropractic can get you off the sidelines and back into the game. Schedule an appointment today with Dr. Williams or Dr. Fields. Call 606-487-9505. We accept most insurances, Medicare and Medicaid. This is Bruce Walters from Bruce Walters Kia. By now you know Kia is a great vehicle and you know they come with a 10 year 100,000 mile warranty. So why should you buy from Bruce Walters Kia? At Bruce Walters Kia, we're gonna change your oil for free for life. And what you do with that money you save is up to you. Come check out the 2022 Kia Carnival and the 2021 Kia Sorento. Only at Bruce Walters Kia in Pikeville or shop us online at brucewalterskia.com. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come.
Welcome back, guys, here at Memorial Gymnasium. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy here on the call as we are at the half. It is a 15-10 advantage for Knott Central over Pike Central. Low scoring affair. Think catching everybody off guard. Nobody would have guessed that this would have been 25 points between both teams at the end of two quarters. No, not at all, Daryl McCoy. Uh, 15 to 10. Are you kidding me? Is it 1956? Uh, you know, where are we at? Uh, have we hit some type of a wormhole? We are at the Hazard Memorial Gym, so it's only fitting. Yeah. You know, that it's a low scoring affair here. Uh, 15 to 10. And Daryl, uh, here, here's, you want to know just the, the sum of it all. Turnovers, turnovers for Pike County Central. Uh, yeah. 10 first half turnovers has absolutely killed them on the offensive end. That's been the story of the game, Coach. Uh, we just seen Prestonsburg wrap up with a 70 to 54 win over Buckhorn, and that changed things on the 14th, 15th region challenge here. Let's take a look at the 13th, 14th, or 14th versus 15th region, battle of the regions here, Coach. Now the 15th region has inched one game closer. If Pike Central can take care of business here and Martin County takes care of business, they could tie it up, or we could see the 14th region go up 6-2 by the end of the night. You know, that right there, uh, very interesting to see how that, this pans out. Absolutely, and a long way to go, right? Long way to go. We got a whole season to go. We got, you know, boys, girls, middle school, it's going to be a battle, a marathon for that 14th versus 15th region challenge to see who comes out at the end of the year. And we may have a special treat for whatever region ends up winning. I, I love it. We're about uh, two minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Uh, listen, if you're just tuning in, no, you're, you're, you're looking at that scoreboard, and it's exactly <laughs> – well, the, uh, exactly the score that it is, 15 to 10. Knott County Central leads Pike County Central. And for scoring here for Pike County Central, Jalen Rigdon, their uh, preseason player of the year candidate, has two. Jaden Stewart, 2025 standout, has six. And Peyton Owens has two points. For Knott County Central, Hunter Haddix has six off two three balls. Jalen Huff has four. Uh, Braxton Reed, has two, and I'm missing a three ball off somebody, Daryl McCoy. Uh, uh, Connor Napier, yeah. the, the super uh, sophomore, has uh, a three ball, and that's your scoring, Daryl. That rounds out your scoring here on the Double Quick Halftime Show. Real quick, want to thank our game sponsors, Sagersville Funeral Home, Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance, and Scott Napier, Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau, East Main Street Pharmacy, Camper Furniture, Zip Zone, of Warfield, Kentucky, Mexican restaurant in Inez, Kentucky, Howard Family Pharmacy, Double Quick, Conley Brothers Giovanni, Willie Crace at Crace Construction, Solid Rock Development, Crumb Funeral Home, Smoking Hot Vape Shop, Citizens Bank of Kentucky, Made to Crave, Pikeville and Prestonsburg restaurants, Castles, Jewelry, Huff Pharmacy, and Tropical Owl located in Prestonsburg and Salyersville, guys. Those are who's bringing this game to you, so you can sit home and watch it for free. 15 to 10, Pike Central with the ball out of the out of halftime here. Spin, can't convert. Mm -hmm. Rigdon left it short. Drake Sloan with the ball up the floor. Oh, yeah, to his backcourt teammate, Jalen Huff. Well, Jalen Huff's more of a three, right, Daryl? Yeah. Still playing that backcourt spot, though. Yeah, he's uh, they list him as a guard. The, uh, yeah, right. But, you know, I mean, he, he's a three, and he's lucky that he's got a guy like Casey Huff coaching him because most coaches would put him down on the block as a four. Big rebound, right. Mr. Haddix. There's a nice take. Drake Sloan left that one lay on the rim. Coach, if you're in Hazard, Kentucky, and you're within a 25, 30-minute drive, Get up here. Yeah. This place is starting to pack out here as uh, you got Breathitt County, Martin County up next, and we got two powers right now in their respective regions in Knott Central and Pike Central really battling it out. Drake Sloan misses the first. Uh, Daryl, um, uh, Knott Central 0 0 for 3 from the free throw line here during the ga this game. Yeah, that's, uh, that's something you can guarantee that Coach Huff ain't going to like. Makes it a six-point lead. Wait, 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 
Rigdon kicks out Stewart. Long. Which, what time does Kentucky play? Yeah, I, I, let us know, ladies and gentlemen. They keep, play Penn, right? Yeah, keep us updated on that. Could be the return of Mr. Bradshaw. Jumper. Boy. Oh, he got hit uh, going up, Daryl. Yeah, uh, I thought so, too. Blake Adams uh, kind of nudged him in the gut. Smart move by Mr. Blake Adams. Yeah. As long as you ain't doing anything uh, malicious. Mm. Nice tough. jumper. Yeah. Great job there off the inbounds play. Timeout. Pike Central all of a sudden is an 18 uh, to 10 lead, Daryl. We've got some offense. We do. And Eric Ratliff, he's going to talk about it because he don't like what's going on. As he talks about it, we will too. We'll be right back here on the D&D Sports Network. Hi, everybody. Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. Do you want to love your car even more? How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? It is fast. It's easy. All you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. We're back here with two or... But well, there, you got an update, though, Kentucky. Yeah, we're back here at the DJ Begley Classic. You're watching the D&D Sports Network Battle of the Regions, 14th versus 15th Region Challenge. Pike Central trailing, not Central, by eight. 18 to 10 is the score. Coach Keithley, Cats are down five right now, and I think they said they are 5.54 to go. In the game? Yeah. Wow. Down five, no 54 seconds to go. Wow. Blake Adams. Don't get me in a bad mood, Daryl. Don't tell me the <laughs> score then. Off and running. Here we go. Huff. Nice take. He said, I'm going either around you or through you, but either way, I'm getting to the rim. And Robert Wallace said the Cats have played horrible today. And uh, the 74-69 uh, is with a minute to go. Just when you thought the Cats were going to go on a big-time run. Did Bradshaw play? That's the question. Yeah. Let us know. So Huff making the free throw, stretching it out to nine. He can get a double-digit lead here if he can nail this one. All of a sudden, a scoring outburst. Yeah, he misses that one. Again, got to clean up them free throws. Coach, I heard some good news the other day. Yeah. There's Jake Sloan. He's got to shoot that. That's the one he should have took. Yeah, he's got to shoot that. He's uh, Jake Sloan is part of the D&D &D Mountain Elite uh, AAU that's team. That's your guy then, right? Yeah, he's one, he's one of our guys. And, you know, when he, he's got the mindset to score, he can really produce a lot of points. But he's not looking for a shot right now. 11-point lead almost seems like a 25-point lead in this game. Yeah, the way it's been going, you're spot on there. Pike Central has yet to score here in the third quarter. Now, Coach, I ran into my former high school coach last night, Raymond Justice, former U Pike coach, and Belfry coach. Took Belfry to. Big fan of you. You talked several times uh, about him, Daryl. Uh, he's my mentor, man. He's, uh, yeah, there you go. Hunter Haddix with another bucket. We'll stay here during this one. Casey Huff wow. excited. But. Casey Huff says, turn that energy up. <laughs> yeah, he's all energy. But back to uh, Raymond Justice. You know, I ran into him and his uh, lovely wife, Beth, last night. And uh, uh, he said that he's going to come on and he's going to call a not central game with me. That would be awesome. Yes, it would. Yeah. It, uh, you know, I got so much respect for that man. I mean, he took Belfry to three straight Sweet 16 appearances with J.J. Hilton and crew. And then uh, in 98, my sophomore year, he took us to the region championship with uh, Mark Booby Maynard at point guard yeah. and Jeremy Steele, Jonathan Wright, Matt Slater, Josh Howard, uh, just a great the group. And we got beat out by J.R. Van Hoos and Todd Tackett. Well, let me ask you this, right? Uh, there are certain guys even to this day, one of them being my dad, one of them being one of my mentors, Coach Tucker. Uh, I I've got several. Uh, if If – Old coach came to you right now, said, you run these bleachers. Would you I, in a heart? I would start hoofing it. You better believe nah. it. There's certain people in your life yep. that no matter what, at this time in your life, you're still that 16, 15, 14-year-old kid. Uh, listen, it, it just made me smile. You know, he was going back, you know, uh, uh, grabbed me by the shoulder, just took me back to high school. And, uh, he, you know, he's a... Uh, He's a man that I respect more than the world, man, and a uh, beautiful basketball mind. And, uh, you know, he, he kind of formed my love for the game. You know, he taught right. me most of what I know. And, 
So, you know, I'll always be in debt to him. 23 to 10. Uh, Jaden Stewart with six points to lead Pike Central. And that's what you need right there, that high ball screen. Yep. It's going to set that up is. and drives. Off the mark. Even though they didn't knock it down, that's what you need more of. And I'll tell you what, Coach Keithley, Pike Central might need to look at getting Jameer Knuckles back in the yep. game. He's provided a little bit of a spark when he came in. Yeah. Got poked away. Adams yep, back over down to Stewart. To Gonna go to the free throw line. Yeah, Stewart's got to finish him. You know, he's a low down low, hard to handle. He's a hard guard. Oh, he's tough to guard. Great hands, yeah. pretty uh, pretty good footwork. Um, he's got unlimited range. Yeah, unlimited range. Can knock down the mid range. Can finish around. Like, listen, it, as versatile scorers you're gonna find here in the mountains. Oh, the, they was missing DJ Wagner. Is the only player they was missing. Hmm. So Bradshaw did play. Caden Crum checking in yep. for uh, Blake Adams. And again, Caden Crum, coach, a lot of big time baseball schools are reaching out to that young man. And, uh, you know, I mean, we've been contacted once or twice by some schools. And, uh, you know, he, he's a kid that, you know, could really uh, make a run at that 60th district player of the year next year. Pike Central trying to turn things up. Or this some, year. Get some offense going, Daryl. They're prime pressure. Sloan kicks it to the corner. Haddix. Booyah! His third three of the game. But you know what that does, though, Daryl? When you apply pressure, it's going to set up those shooters in the deep corner. Yep. So you got to make sure you're guarding on the back side. Or no turnover. Yep. Huff with another steal. Oh, he should have gave that one up. Never, never left. 28 to 12. Jake Sloan. Gonna drive it. Pull up. Vic Sloan gonna have an opportunity to go to the free throw line. Yeah. That's another one of your guys, Daryl. Jake Sloan is a D and D Mountain Elite. Uh, he was one of our starters, and uh, he's a kid that, you know, offensively he is very gifted, and he's really worked on his defensive side of the basketball. And uh, he, you know, he's he's rounding out to be a very nice player. He's dropped all that baby fat. Jake, uh, Jake will be all right. Well, know. that's one of the things that stood out to me when I saw him. Jake's probably knocked off five, ten pounds. Yeah, and uh, coach, one thing about Jake Sloan, his shoe game is always on point. It is. You I see, agree. he's got them Bruce Lee's on. Misses on both. Probably a little bit of nerves getting that free throw line in a big time event like this. Yeah. Oh, backside, not missed him. Yeah. Twenty-eight to twelve, Coach Huff. Coaching his hind end off. I'm telling you, this Knott County team, the thing I like about this team, Coach, is whenever they get you down and they smell blood, they go to put your foot on your throat. And, right, and not enough teams do that. No, no, too many coaches, whenever it gets like this, they'll start pulling starters. Yeah, sub city yeah. and let's, let's yank and work lineups. No, that, that's, listen, you want to be a big time team, you have that killer instinct. Yep. We got uh, Sean Brashear says Bradshaw played. We got Josh Boyd says Raymond Justice also went to the Sweet 16 with Knott County as an assistant to the great. Yes, he had a lot of, he had a couple uh, Sweet 16 appearances, I think, with Cameron Justice, Simon Christian, Evan Hall and crew. Oh, I don't know about that one, but but uh, Jake Sloan's going back to the free throw line. Uh, Misty Everidge says Hunter is on fire tonight. Yes, sir. Hunter Haddix coming out. Coach, he said a hey, DJ Begley MVP. Give it to me. Yes, sir. Sloan going back to the line. 29 to 12 here. Got, gets that one. His first point in a Pike Central uniform. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, coach. You see them kicks, Kobe's. Shoe game always tight with Jake Sloan. Gets them both here. Mm -hmm. Tanner Darnell checking in, Daryl McCoy. I'm, I'm a fan of Tanner Darnell. Yeah, he said, Jake Sloan, you hit a free throw. Yeah, rewarded with a seat on the bench, young man. Yes. <laughs> now they got Knuckles in. You know, and I, I actually like this, you know, right now. You know, give them a break so you can bring them down the stretch. And uh, Jameer Knuckles. In the game, let's see here. He's got Braxton Reed. That Reed comes up, sets the screen. They're trying to slip. But look at the patience, Daryl. That, that's big time basketball. They are patient in what they want here, and they get what they want. Well, that, that happens when you've got a floor general like one Drake Sloan. 
Foul is on zero, Ripton for the Hawks. Drake Sloan going back to the line, 29-14. And coach, I tell you, the, the biggest improvement is Drake Sloan, you can tell he lived in the weight room this summer. Well, we watched Drake, right? Yep. When he was in eighth grade. And what was his what was his strength? The three ball. Yeah. I mean, he was a pull guy. He was pulling from deep. Uh, and now he's completely rounded out his game. Yeah, finishing at the rim is probably yeah. one of the big. I think we watched him have six threes in a JV game. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. And he said, watch him, Coach Keithley. He's mm -hmm. just an eighth grader. Wow. Pipe Central has not scored a field goal in quite some time. They're struggling. Struggling offensively. 30 to 14. Nice job. But you're and gonna look get at this defense. They're talking. They're moving. Got their arms up, Coach. Got to guard that backside. They're going to give one up on the backside, though. They're, they're overplaying. Stewart, all he has to do is sneak in. Stewart off the mark there. And I tell you, I love that position defensively. Yeah, talking, active, yeah. right? That's it. You know, that right there, uh, you know, that's a team that's got a chance to win a region title. I agree with you 100%. Um, I, I didn't know. I knew not Kenny was going to be good. But guess what, Daryl? They're really good. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, they're going to get Haddix for the turnover. Yeah, Coach, I mean, I, I know you kind of disagreed with the preseason rankings and thought Boyd might be a little better, and I still don't know. I, I mean, don't know. That, I, I, that's, that's a right. tough one. But, you know, I mean, right now, I mean, does it – does, are they justifying that a little bit I th too? I think that's. I think it's justified, brother. Here we go. Caden Crum up top. He's a sophomore. Back over to Stewart. Jameer Knuckles. I, I like that they're giving him extended minutes. He's calling for the ball, Daryl. Yeah. They don't realize how strong he is underneath. They're right there, he, grabbing boards, creating space. And, and coach, I tell you something that we have not seen. And it's really surprised me. Both times we've seen Pike Central. This summer, we've seen Jalen Rigdon with a really improved three ball. Yeah. And we've not seen him really utilize that the last two games. No, we, we've not. And uh, they're doing a good job taking Rigdon away on the floor here. Pike Central yet to score a field goal here in the third quarter. Again, Jalen Rigdon will play his college ball at the University of Pikeville. Uh, and uh, gets to stay close to home, or close to home, gets to stay uh, close to dad, right? Yeah. Uh, if Aaron Rigdon chooses to stay at Pike Central. Sloan. That's the only part of his game, Darrell, that I've noticed is those free throws. Um, leave them short. Maybe it has something to do with a little fatigue. Kentucky loses by seven. Oh, come on. What? Yeah, I told you not. I didn't <laughs> want to hear that score, bro. Now I'm going to be all night long. Oh, well, you knew with one yeah, with uh, one minute to go, they probably going to yeah, lose it. You're right. <laughs> Drake Sloan, 31-14. They backside. I yeah. told you right. Yep. That's where it's open. But they're not looking for it. Quicker no. zipper passes, zippier passes, Daryl. That's the, they're, they're, they get the ball, they're, they're taking two, three dribbles, yes. and yes. then they'll swing it back back out in the wing instead of looking to the interior. The backside is open because Knott County is giving, bringing them heat, yep. whether it's even in the zone or man. You, the backside is open. I would have left Knuckles in. I'm not, again, I'm, I'm not the coach, and I'm not questioning Coach Ratliff at all, but I would have left Knuckles in. Yeah. Be out of bounds. Another turnover yeah, for the Hawks. Another turnover, Daryl. Mm -hmm. Deflected, and then Blake Adams, Rich out, just couldn't haul it in. 31-14. Yeah, we're here at Memorial Gymnasium, Coach, one of the true gyms in the mountains. Grant Hall, number two for Pike Central, checks in. The mountain treasure. Jake Sloan checking back in. He's going to give Caden Crum a uh, rest. Jake Sloan is a junior, correct, Daryl? Jake Sloan is a junior. Uh, they had him listed as a 2024 on uh, our graphic. No, he's a 2025 yeah. kid. D&D &D Elite. Nice drive. Blocked by Stewart. Under a minute to play. Oh, another turnover. 
I should have went up with that one, Daryl. Yeah. Well, it was. Not, not Braxton Reed splits the defense. What did they get there? Uh, travel? I don't know what they called. I thought it was a foul. Uh, reach. I no. thought that's what I thought they was calling, but no. 30 Park Central ball. 31 14 here. Yeah, they need any break they can get. And coach, they've only they've only scored four points here. No field since goals. Half. No field goals there. Yeah. Four free throws. Two free throws by Stewart, two free throws by Sloan. Has been uh, Pike Central scoring here in the third quarter. You know, the two things that they got to clean up is they've got to find some offense and they've got to clean up the turnovers. Yeah, turnovers is what I've kind of sticks out to me since the zip zone. Nice baseline drive. Rigdon. That's, gets it that's what he's got to do. That's Rigdon's game. Give Rigdon four points. Yep. And they got their first field goal of the second half. Under 20. Grant Hall and Jake Sloan. Hall of guard you now. He's up in Sloan right now. Gonna get a personal. He, he did. He kind of put put his hand on his on oh. his belly. That's, that's tough, shoot though. Two. The, uh, yeah, they're going to shoot two. Yeah. Now you got to watch Grant Hall. You know, one thing I noticed about Grant Hall, he's really good with that five-second call. Sneaky, right? Yeah. Guys, hit that lock and share button. Get these numbers up for these boys. These free throws, Daryl, killing uh -huh. um, not central. It'd be a 20-point game right now. I'm going to go share it myself and gets a second. Pushes it out. 15 point lead for the Patriots. Wow. Drake Song gets called for the foul. Casey Huff not happy with the call over there. Regan's going to go to the line. 32 to 16. You know, Jalen Rigdon went to the school with Bobby Love this summer. He did. Yeah, Look added at that. some bulk. Those arms. Yeah. You know, you talked about earlier talking about ink. Rigdon got a half sleeve there, Coach. He does. Yeah. The, I believe Jaden Stewart has a tat. Blake Adams has a tat. Jameer yeah. Knuckles has a tat. You know, we was talking about that earlier. You yeah. Know, uh, you know, how the game has changed and how kids today, you know, I mean, most – you know, for a lot of the kids you see, he's got tattoos. You know, in this Pike Central team, definitely tat 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 it up. Yeah. Rigdon. It's the first. Rigdon was an 80 plus plus percent free throw shooter. I don't have the exact number in front of me last year. It's on both. Now has six. See if that wakes up uh, Pike Central going into the fourth quarter. Nice crossover. Nice pull up. Hex. Wow, Daryl McCoy. 34. Let's see if they count that. Uh, should be 34 18 going into the fourth quarter. They're not going to count it. Coach. They haven't counted it. No, Casey Huff's looking at the scoreboard. Look at him over there. He's like, uh, that's, yeah. like that's what he's asking about I mean, right he now. Got, he got it off in plenty of time. Yeah, Coach Huff talking to the scores table. It's 34-18. Scores table may have fell asleep on that. They said, we got you. Are they going to change it, Daryl? I can't tell. The officials are going over. I mean, that was in plenty of time. Well, we'll find out when we come back. We'll be right back here on the D&D Sports Network. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. The Black Friday sale is on now at Kimber's. Kimber is letting you choose how you want to save, and the offers are incredible. On top of great sale prices store-wide, take an extra 10% off the lowest marked sale price on everything you buy, and Kimber will pay your sales tax too. Or get up to 72 months, six full years interest-free. Look for amazing doorbuster deals throughout the store during the Black Friday sale at your favorite Kimber store. This is Bruce Walters from Bruce Walters Kia. 
By now, you know Kia is a great vehicle, and you know they come with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. So why should you buy from Bruce Walters Kia? At Bruce Walters Kia, we're going to change your oil for free for life. And what you do with that money you save is up to you. Come check out the 2022 Kia Carnival and the 2021 Kia. We're back here at the DJ Begley Classic D&D Sports Network Battle of the Regions, 14th versus 15th Region Challenge. And they did it, count it. Yeah, and they finally got it up there in Hazard, Kentucky here as uh, Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy, you're watching the Mountain's number one source for sporting news, the D&D Sports Network. Huff cleaning the floor, like it. Hey. Wearing many hats, right? Yes, he does. That's what we do at D&D. Yep, uh, uh, everybody chips in. It's People don't realize that, do they, Daryl? No. They think we got some studio, send it back to the studio, uh, people setting things up for it. No. Listen, this is an all-hands-on-deck deal. It, it is. You know, that, that, that's the thing. You know, we're not we're not to that point. Hopefully someday you folks get us there, and uh, and we promise that we'll keep working hard. Oh. And get, yeah. Give the mountains a spotlight that they've deserve and they've never had but you know i mean right now you guys keep doing what you're doing sponsors and fans are what makes this go around with a uh, great group of employees hall almost picked uh sloan's pocket hall, uh, hall doing a good job i like it almost sold that uh, there it is there it is. It's a turnover yeah he ended up getting it right and coach that's a freshman a young freshman oh, yeah rigdon See if they can get some offense going. Sloan. And In out. out. It was all the way down. Yeah. Oh, almost picked up his dribble. Hall. There's Huff. Huff. Driving. Huff. I'm telling you, that is big boy basketball. Strong take, and I don't think we've seen enough of that tonight. <laughs> Thirty-four to eighteen. Two we see uh, Roger Nice says appreciate all you fellas do for the young players. And Gus and April Sloan said I uh, Gus Sloan said I learned that last night when I was on the call. So you done a great job, Gus. Huff misses on both there. Free throws has kept Pike Central with the door <laughs> open. Or it'll be a 20 plus game. Sloan hesitates. Yeah. This, you got to get to a situation, Daryl, and I know you're the first one to say this because you are the number one cheerleader for Jake Sloan. Mm. Sloan has to stop hesitating. Yeah, that's what I, everything that he's done at Pike Central, he hesitates yeah. on every Can't shot. Do it. No. Got to stop, young man. You mm. catch the ball, do what you do. And, and you know, that's, that's where his teammates got to step in and they got to tell him, you know, shoot it. You yeah. Know. Quit thinking about it. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> I'm telling you, you cannot stop Jaden Huff when he drifts that baseline. There's no uh, hesitation in Huff's game. Absolutely not. There it is. Again, gave up maybe a. All right, I'll back out to. Nice Ritten. ball movement. Easy bucket there by Stewart. Pike Central says we needed something easy. Stewart's uh, uh, now got 10. Uh oh, here comes Adams. All on of a, the deck. All of a sudden, that energy's turned up on Pipe Central side. It is. Let's see if it's too late or if uh -oh, Blake Adams hobbling to the sideline. Coach, who come in for him there? Yeah, Peyton, Peyton Owens. Yeah, Peyton Owens checks back in. He's had him a extended breather here. 36 to 20. He's saying, come to the ball. And Huff, Huff kind of stood there and waited. Yeah. Sometimes they do. PG's, you know, you get left hung out to dry. I'm not saying that's what happened, but nice extra yes, pass. Yes, that's what you do. Grant Hall comes away with it. Oh, another yeah. turnover. Give him 13 on the night. Oh, go 10 and by Rigdon. That's 13 turnovers. And I like that about Jaden Huff. He says, hey, he says there's a difference between a good shot and a great shot. Yeah. Yeah, and you hate to see that because Hall's played such a good game defensively. You hate to see, you know, getting pressure and, you know, trying to get some energy to the Hawks' way, but that turnover right there 
Reagan now has eight. It was rough. Think about this, Daryl, and this is the same thing we talked about on the grind session for four years, right? Yeah. Uh, 22 points with six minutes to go in the fourth. 18 of those points have came from Rigdon and Stewart. They got to find somebody else. Got to. Got to. And, you know, they got a kid in Jake Sloan that's capable of it, but we'll see if they end up doing it. Coach, real quick, throw it big up there as uh, we want to thank Sagersville Funeral Home, Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance, Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau, proud supporter of the Hazard Bulldogs, Perry Central Commodores, and all mountain athletes. Deshae Woolham at East Main Street Pharmacy, Thomas Kemper and the folks at Kemper Furniture, Zip Zone of Warfield, Kentucky, Mexican Restaurant in Inez, Kentucky, Howard Family Pharmacy, Double Quick, Conley Brothers Giovanni's, Crace Construction, Solid Rock Development, Crumb Funeral Home, Smoking Hot Vape Shop, Citizens Bank of Kentucky, Made to Crave, Castles Jewelry, Huff Pharmacy, and Tropical Owl. Coach, if you want to grow your business, grow it while helping mountain athletes. We can guarantee you there's no other outlet that can reach the amount of people we do for the price we do. And every dime that comes into D&D Sports Network is through our advertisers. If we can't put people in your doors, our doors ain't going to be open, and we can't do this for the kids. So try us out, and we guarantee we can help your business. Here we go. Back here at the DJ Begley Classic here. 5.37 to go. Oh, that should have been a kickball. Yeah. That's what they called it. Well, it was going to stay Pike Central, uh, going to go Pike Central's yeah, way, but I, it was kicked. I didn't understand that one. Rigdon over to Stewart. Stewart to pull. It's been off tonight. Yeah. There's Sloan stops, pops from the elbow off the mark. Off and running. Yeah. Not Central. Lob City. Off the mark. And they just lost. Another didn't they? turnover. Yeah. Now. Adams couldn't find the ball, had his back turned. I'd like to know what Pike Central's turnovers are. Right I've now. got them for 14 right now, but it could be more. Uh. Over, and 10 of them was in the first half. Right. Big finish by Reed. I'm going to go ahead and say this, Daryl. Of the teams I've seen preseason and regular season, not County, best defensive team that I've watched. They guard. I, I've not seen everybody before. Yeah, what, I've what, watched. What we've watched. Yeah, I could definitely see it. Adams. I, you know, and I think Martin County's the seemingly yes. good yeah. at defense. I agree. Owens. Left it short. Stewart. Yeah, there. Goes up strong. Just can't get it by a bucket tonight. Rebound. Oh, Stewart goes down hard, coach. Stewart going to shoot uh, two. I tell you, Jaden Stewart, he's one of them Fox Up guys. They you know, technical on not central. Uh, a little talking, and, and Stewart said, Come on, man. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Jaden Stewart. Technical Jay foul. Yeah. Jaden Stewart's played with our D and D Mountain Elite team in the past. I'm not sure what happened there, and you know, but nonetheless, Jaden Stewart going to get four free throws. Robert Wallace says Grant Hall is a spark plug, so he's a tough kid. Matt Everett says need to practice on free throws. Yes, sir. You talking about uh, Knott County, right, brother? That's who he's talking about. Yeah. It's the first. Mm -hmm. Good shot by Stewart. Stewart now has 11. <laughs> Coach Huff said that's enough. This is the second. Going to get two more free throws. Are they going to have Stewart shoot them or Rigdon? They're going to let Rigdon shoot them. Rigdon looking to get in double figures tonight. Had 10 at the zip zone during the preseason. <laughs> and rolls it in, got nine. But he's been a joy to watch the last four years here on the D&D &D Sports Network. He has uh, rigged, and he, again, he will play his collegiate basketball in Pikeville, Kentucky at the University of Pikeville. Corey Thacker says, you'll see KCC in Martin County next week. Oh, yeah, they play in the uh, WYMT, Coach. 
Yeah, that's right. 21 of Pike Central's 25 points coming from Stewart and Rigdon. Now you tell me, that's a game that I I'll be glued into. That's the two top teams in their respective regions. Boys, look at that defensive pressure. Another turnover, yep, off and go. running. Drake Sloan. Spin now on the floor. They turned that defensive intensity up. Yep. After that tech, Jake Sloan getting ready to check back in. Sloan going to get Peyton Owens. I thought Peyton Owens did a pretty good job. Um, yeah, right now, if you're pressuring, you know, it might not be bad to have him in the game. But, but you also got good defenders in Hall and uh, Crum coming off the bench, too. So Nice. Nice. Huff. Sloan coming down with it, his second rebound. Brigden, Skip, Hall, got Six it! All of a sudden, we got a 12-point ball game with 3.40 to go here, Kevin Keithley. As they take a timeout, we'll jump out too. We'll be right back here on the D&D Sports Network. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. Grant Hall, Daryl McCoy with his first official basket as a Pike Central Hawk. Well, we are here in Hazard, Kentucky at the DJ Begley Classic. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy, Battle of the Regions up for grab here. Drake Sloan gets it up court. To Ambergy, Ambergy. You know, Ambergy's been quiet tonight. Yeah, he has. Well, Grant Hall did a tremendous job there um, trying to kind of just be a gnat. Uh, uh, yeah. With uh, Ambergy. Ambergy on the line for two. Another missed free throw. Coach Huff is like, goodness gracious, guys. Right? Yeah. I mean, that, I tell you what, I'd have them tomorrow on Sunday on their day off. I know what I'd have them yeah, doing. Coming in. Yeah. Knocking down free throws. Hall, bounce pass, nice look. Oh. That's yeah, just tough. This KCC defense is so good. Huff's second personal. All of a sudden, Pike Central. Big free throws here. Yeah, huge free throws for Jaden. Not a jinx team. Yeah, those announcers jinx. Yeah. Stewart with 11 points. Left that one short. Rigdon knocks it back out. Sloan with the third rebound. Yeah. Stewart. Nice. Nice take by Jaden Stewart. Stepped on the line. Yep. Bobby Builder says Knott County has left the door wide open. They have, said, Bobby uh, Love. With all the missed free throws. Free throws, uh, this game would be over. But that's why we play the game. Now all of a sudden, Pike Central has a little bit of energy. And Grant Hall doing a nice job. There it is. Yeah. He's going to knock that one down. Nope. Oh. oh. Got to travel. Another turnover, Pike Central. Well, Jake Sloan, I, I don't know. He, it seems like he's in his head because, you know, he's he's a re really serviceable shooter, and you know he he's just been off all night. Forty-one to thirty, and, and I think that's the problem. I think he's relying on that jump shot instead of getting to the rack that he's so good at. He's got a really nice float game, and uh, but. Going to get Jake Sloan. Jake Sloan and uh, Grant Hall did a nice job there trying to uh, uh, cause some havoc for Drake, uh, for Drake Sloan. Yeah, we got a Jake Sloan yeah. and a Drake Sloan. Right. 
Sloan, can he knock these down? He gets it. I love Drake Sloan. He says, I'll make it when it counts, coach. That kid's a baller. Yes, he is. 42 to 30. That's that one hard, yeah. Off the Rigdon. Almost another turnover, Hall. Rigdon, hard to the rack. Give Rigdon 12. Hunter Haddix goes straight to the rim, no good. It is a 10 point game. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you went away, or maybe your friend said, ah, you know, Pipe Central, uh, no, yeah. let's, let's tune back in, right? Absolutely, hit that share button, let everybody know, you know, this game's within reach. And coach up next, Breathitt County versus Ooh. Martin County. Yeah, sir, I, I, I love both teams and, and uh, got a lot of love for both teams. Yeah. Rigdon gonna pull. That's what you're talking about, Daryl. Yeah, off. it's off. Yeah. He had Huff looking to hang on to it. Pull up. No good. Watch out. I'm telling you, there's plenty of time on the clock when you've got two players like Jaden and Jalen. You don't want to leave that door open. 42-32. Pike Central has scored 12 points in the second half. Up the slum. And it knocked away. Rigdon goes up strong. Oh, oh, oh. Rigdon trims it to eight. He'll have a chance at old fashioned three guys, three pointer here. You know, just think of that backcourt next year at UPOC with Keon Warts and Jalen Rigdon. Converts. 42 35. All of a sudden. Another turnover. Yes, it is. There it is. Rigdon playing D. Jake Sloan all the way to the rack. He takes the bump, and he'll go to the free throw line. Now, they make both of these, Coach, all of a sudden it's a five-point ball game. And, again, Darrell, you go back to as well as Knott County's played, they've left some things on the table in, in terms of free throws. Sloan misses uh, the first, 42-35. It is a six-point game, two-possession game. Kick it back over. Nice job. Yep. Hey, uh, going to shoot two free throws. You know, and, and listen, if I'm Pike Central right now, I'm using all my fouls the way Pike Central yep. shot the free throws. I absolutely. Bobby Builder tuning in. He is the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. Southeastern. Yeah, Southeastern champion. Eastern champ, yeah. yeah. I believe the first title that Hulk Hogan ever won was in the NWA, and he won the Southeastern uh, Heavyweight Championship. Oh, wow. He sinks the second. A seven point ball game here. Now, Stewart. Yeah. Toes that baseline. Yeah. The ball movement. Oh! Nice. oh. oh. How, how about that? Top 10 play there, coach. And cuts it to five. My oh my. Rigdon with the behind the back pass. There you go, Rigdon. Ooh, coach. Ooh. I don't know about that one. I'm gonna shoot two. Looks like they both had the ball. I didn't see much contact there, did you? No, I didn't see much at all. Man, what a ball game here. The Patriots just trying to hang on here after dominating three quarters of play. 
Amberg back irons that one. Coach, we got a five point ball game. Can he stretch it back out here to a two position, or it's still a two position game, but can he stretch it back out to six? Free throws. And he does. Has absolutely killed not tonight. 44 38. Clock's not moving. There it goes. Sloan, Rigdon, Hall, Stewart, Stewart. Oh, yeah! Jaden Stewart. Watch out now. 44 41. Coming back the other way. Hunter Harris, that's not who you want to foul there. He's the veteran on this team. Oh. Yeah, and that's a smart deal, Darrell. Yeah. Uh, you put them at the line. So far, they've not proven they can knock them down consistently. No, I absolutely. I'm, let's see if Amberger can hit that step up, hit these key free throws here. Left that in great. This is the second there. Yep. Jaden Stewart pumps the rebound over to Rigdon. Rigdon. Sloan. Back. Yeah. Sloan. I thought he was going to take it there. Yeah, he had it. They got a score here, Coach. They don't have the luxury of time. And Stewart, he said, give me the ball. I ain't got no problem taking the Two shot. Two-point game. Two-point ball game, 17 seconds to go. We'll go to quick commercial. You don't want to go anywhere. Come right back and join us. Hi, everybody. Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. Do you want to love your car even more? How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? It is fast. It's easy. All you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. There are coaches, volunteers, church members, neighbors someone who's there when you need them especially when you need them most that may be a lot of hats but they're all the perfect fit kentucky farm bureau big on commitment you know daryl mccoy they said dnd's in the house and you said you know what you better believe it uh, we're here our coach we're here at memorial gymnasium in hazard kentucky and man, do we got a barn burner brewing here as Pike Central and Knott Central are in a two point ball game with 17 seconds to go. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy here on DD Sports Network, Battle of the Regions in the DJ Begley Classic. Derek Bowling says, heck of a ball game. Robert Wallace says, what a comeback. It's not a comeback, coach, unless you finish it, is it? Right. Going to the line. And that's not who you want to send. Mr. Haddix. He's the last kid I want to foul in this situation. His first trip to the line tonight. Nay Riggins White said, come on, Hawks, you can do this. Yeah, this kid, I fell in love with his game. He misses it, Coach. Wow. The door is open. Officially open. You've got multiple shooters on the floor. And uh, miss or make here, you got an opportunity to tie it, possibly take the lead. He makes it so right now, Coach, 16 seconds to go. There's another timeout. Let's stay here during this one. You know, real quick, guys, want to think. Tropical Isle, Huff Pharmacy, Castle's Jewelry, Made to Crave, Citizens Bank of Kentucky, Smoking Hot Vape Shop, Crumb Funeral Home, Crace Construction, Solid Rock Development, Conley Brothers Giovanni's, Double Quick, Howard Pharmacy, Mexican Restaurant in Inez, Zip Zone of Warfield, Kentucky, Kemper Furniture, East Main Street Pharmacy, Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance, and Salyersville Funeral Home. Coach Keithley here, we got a three-point ball game. And uh, listen, I I'll say it as simple as I can. You've got to let your stars make plays. Yes. Rigdon or Stewart needs to take this shot. Yes. Rigdon and Stewart has 35 of Pike Central's 43 points. Yeah. The, uh, so they got 35 of the 43. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so, I, I mean, one of them two, and I, I'm telling everybody else, crashed the glass. Yes. Um, 
Sloan has three. Peyton Owens has two. Grant Hall has three. Michael Boyd says Grant Hall in there earning a spot. Uh, he's definitely, uh, they're playing him during crunch time. It's showing that Coach Ratliff believes in him. Yes, sir. Here we go. Let's see here. Put the Rigdon. Drake Sloan on Rigdon. Hall up top. Rigdon. Yep. Time's ticking, Daryl. Yeah, right now you got to get Stewart. There you, that's who you want. Off the oh, mark. Yep. Gonna have a shot at it. Off the mark. And not Central will escape with the victory. And I'm sure Casey Huff right now is wiping the sweat off his head because Pike Central just gave not Central all they wanted, Coach, after being dominated for three quarters of play. Uh, Darrell McCoy, yes, sir. And not Central left the door open with those missed free throws throughout the game. But my, oh, my, what a game by Hunter Haddix. Had 16. Uh, Mr. Huff with, with um, 11 points to lead. Um, not Central, Darrell. Coach, let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back and name our Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. We are back here, Coach Keithley, and we are sitting here, and the DJ Begley MVP is Hunter Haddix, and we're on the same page because he is our Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game. What, what a game. Pike Central showed a lot of fight in the fourth quarter, never quit, never gave up, and contributions from the bench when you talk about uh, Grant Hall, you talk about um, 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 Caden Crum coming off the bench. So you had some guys step up and step in and, and provide some quality minutes for Pike Central. But Knott County, make no mistake, Daryl, they are everything and then some in, this, in the 14th region and beyond. No, I guess Casey Huff, he is not happy with the way things went down. He says, guys, we didn't win. We escaped. Escaped out of here. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, but they dominated for three quarters. They though, did. Coach. They did. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, you got to give it hats off for the way they played. You know, they just, you know, got place it there at the end. Give Pike Central credit. I mean, they brought the pressure and made it a ball game. Made it a ball game, and now it's time. Martin County, Breathitt County. Goodness gracious, well, I can't wait. We're gonna jump out real quick, and then we will be right back. Give us five minutes, and we'll be right back here live from the DJ Big 